Congratulations to Egg Grenade for scoring the most points on the quiz number 6. We'll be doing full mute setups on bank, border and coastline. Make sure to put the corresponding subtitles. With the first jammer in the tunnels, you will be denying all the drones coming from there. It's very powerful if you or your team is going to play in the servers. The next jammer can be put by the bottom of the server stairs, as it jams any drone coming from the stairs or even from the vents. However, you can replace this jammer on the top of the stairs if you wish to play aggressively under the stairs. We have two more left. Put the third one by the mid of the main stairs, as then you can way easier contest attackers on the stairs. You're forcing them to get into your line of sight to get rid of it. There are two possible routes for drones to enter your objective now, which is through this vent and the garage. However, for the last jammer, I will strongly recommend you putting it in the open for your roamers, as that's the usually path where attackers in ranked start to push. Equip it with a shield and put it here for the maximum effectiveness. With the shield on, you your roamers in the open can even play with the pixel angle on the window. However, you can use a different mute jammer if your roamers are not going to play in the open. The three jammers in the basement is recommended to have. Let's see now the perspective of attackers' drones. It's border time, with the first jammer in the office, we will jam the long hallway. There is a possibility that if attackers are aware of the jammer, that they can jump over the south side of the doorway. You might want to put then another jammer over here to jam it fully and exposing attackers a lot by trying to destroy the jammer. However, I will need a jammer over here to jam the archive door from the east balcony. The third jammer can be placed over here. Make sure to point antenna away from the stairs so if there is a tree drone, she can't destroy the jammer. The jammer blocks the whole staircases. If your team is not planning to enforce the break room double walls, it might be better off to put the jammer off by the side of the hallway, so it does not get destroyed from the break room once the south walls are opened. The jammer by the side of the locker's doorway block most of the stairs and the entrance of the lockers, which is very powerful in the execution part. The jammer is very safe. The last jammer can be put in the cubby, mostly to jam the doorway of the lockers from the west balcony push. The jammer can be destroyed only from the EMP or underneath. With this whole setup, attackers cannot drone you out but from the office, which is a massive thing for your defending squad. Let's see the attacker's drone's perspective. Coastline new setup will be for the kitchen and service. Starting off with the service one that blocks drones trying to come from outside. To deny this drone hole or any drone coming through the window, you can use this jammer. You can use this one jammer to stall the roam hunting starting from the hookah. It's a very deadly jammer that will stop any early drone and roam hunting from that side. Putting it a bit 
more towards the northeast corner means that you will totally block the staircases, but then drones will be able to barely pass through the hookah doors on the south side. For the last jammer, I will definitely recommend using it for the Euromers in the penthouse by blowing this desk. That way, Euromers in the theater will probably be droned only from the lobby, which is a lot time consuming for attackers. Let's see the attacker's drone's perspective now. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any feedback, let me know down in comment section below. If you would like to support me, make sure to drop me a like, subscribe and click the notification bell to get all the notifications from my channel. Make sure to join my Discord server and to follow me on the Twitter.